Jaya, Shivara Jaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is 10 tactics to influence or educate a man in your life. Uh, this is a question that I get a lot from women, you know, the desire to influence and uh, help men change their behavior for the best. So sorry about that guys, I'm going to give these women some tools and uh, I'll probably do another video the other way around. But basically, you know, these um, skills for influencing and, and helping somebody evolve or educating them are, um, you know, skills that you can use in any way. Like you can easily reverse, uh, if you are a man and you are listening to that, you can apply the exact same strategies to influence the woman in your life. Okay, so let's start. The number one is a show by example. If you are telling me rationally how I'm supposed to be behaving and then you do the exact opposite, um, of course it's not gonna, it's gonna, you might reach my mental body, but the best way to show me how to do something is to actually demonstrate it to me. You know, if you want um, a, a man to respect you, well then show him how you respect him, for instance. If you want him to uh, show up on time when you have a date or an appointment, then uh, show up on time yourself. Be impeccable with showing him how to behave. If you uh, want to be really in, um, in integrity with the way you use money, for instance, or with your relationship relationships to people, then um, you want him to be in integrity, then show up with lots of integrity in your life. It's really simple because showing by example works uh, really well. It's a very powerful way to influence somebody. Uh, technique number two is uh, respect. <clears throat> it's very hard to receive a message from somebody who is attacking you. So if you want to influence your, your man, uh, when you are communicating with him, try to clear whatever emotional charge you might have before that. If you are attacking him, if you go like, you did that to me the other day and I don't like it and you have to stop, you know, there is aggressive energy. Guess what's going to happen with him? He's going to contract. He's going to retract. It's a natural organic response. It's not because he's deciding to do that, but even if he wants to stay open, it's not easy when somebody's aggressing you. And so your psychic power, psychic energy, your intention is, um, you know, is a very powerful element in creating openness or contraction. And so if you want to reach him, just communicate with kindness, with openness, remove the charge and be like, here is what I notice that is going on in our relationship. Here is what I notice is going on. You know, no passive aggressive either. Just be calm, be in your space and, um, you know, realize that if you communicate with kindness and gentleness, with diplomacy and respect, um, it's going to be much easier to reach him. Um, a third element that is very important, you have to understand that one, it's very crucial to get it right, is to be consistent. So what tends to happen very often in relationships is that there is going to be some strong inconsistency. You give him a message one day and then the following day you, ch you tell him that you change your mind and before he can adapt you change it already and then you're changing plans and going in all directions. So um, it's very hard for somebody to follow the roller coaster of your emotions and desires and changing wishes. It's just as simple as that. So if you want something, if you want a frame or you want a certain value to be established in your relationship, you have to be consistent with that value and make sure that the value that you are trying to integrate in your, in your couple you know, it might be, for instance, again, integrity or transparency. You know, if you want this to be at the core of your, of your relationship, at the core of your couple, then you have to be consistent with that uh, request or that invitation and practice it yourself. This consistency is very important as well. Because otherwise, it's going to create lots of confusion. It will be like, wow, well, yesterday you asked me about that and now I changed my behavior, but now you want something else. So which one is it? If you want me to trust what you have to offer, then you have to be consistent so that I know that the values that you're establishing are not just temporary passing uh, things through your mind or desires. You have to be, yeah, show me consistency. 
Another important element is offer space for integration. If you have a, you know, what I would call a shadow check or a, a check-in for your relationship and you have this deep process and integration, then you have to allow uh, a few days, sometimes a week, sometimes even longer for, for these values or the result of that conversation to be integrated in your man's field. If you, you know, it's a little bit like planting seeds in the ground. You go and you start scratching the seeds and you don't give the time for the plant to grow you move the ground again, then that's not going to work. You have to allow for an organic process to take place in that man's life. And uh, so offering space is very important. If you are giving him an important input one day and then the following day you have another input, then his, his uh, free space is going to saturate and he's not going to be receptive to new inputs uh, on a consistent base. So um, it's important that if you have a processing conversation that happens one, you know, one day and then you have a few days break when you are not adding a new input so that he can really integrate and watch his behaviors and see where he can improve in uh, your invitation to uh, to optimize your your couple and, and behaviors so um, yeah offer space for for this integration another one is uh, repeat the message um, you might have heard that before but for somebody to get a message into their mind sometimes you have to repeat it multiple times you know when you're training an animal training a dog for instance I'm not saying that animals and humans okay <laughs> you get the message right you're training your dog you have to repeat the message until he gets it and uh, there is something that is very instinctual inside of us so a part of what we do is is very animal like you know you repeat the message and you get it and then soon it becomes the truth and it becomes something that is in alignment so give uh, that man a little bit of space and uh, when you notice that something is going on you don't have to attack and fight back straight away you you give a little bit of space and then you repeat the message with consistency but the repetition is an important part or element as well. If he doesn't get it the first time or the third time, you will see that it sometimes it takes five to ten times for somebody to get the message. If the message is repeated and it's always the same message, event eventually it sinks in. Okay? Sympathize. Okay? This means putting yourself in that person's shoes. Instead of you being like, here is my agenda, and forcing that message into that person, you say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah see that person's point of view so that you can influence them in ways that that feel healthy for them as well instead of being like here's my agenda i'm going to force that on you no you go like take a moment to pause and observe where that man is next strategy win win create win win so this is the same as the idea of teaming up and um the the message behind this is that co-create okay it's like it's no point uh creating plans together and deciding for things by yourself and then trying to force that agenda on him instead focus on win-win because very often you have one choice something that you might want and then there is something that he wants and the, in the co-creation process you realize that you can create something or a mindset or something that is going to be a win-win for the two of you that is going to be more evolved than your individual ideas so imagine again it's a little bit like creating a house and building a house together you have a plan or you have a map or of how this is going to happen you went to an architect and you have this design and then he's got another design and sometimes merging those two designs together is going to optimize really the result rather than this being your own only construction and asking him to join you simply in your own individual project so this co-creation process uh, usually leads to win-win you say did we take care of your needs in the experience what are your needs here are my needs here are your needs let's co-create that together makes sense right another important part uh, goes together with the, the, the respect is create energetic and emotional safety again if you are under attack um, as a man it's very hard to open yourself up to receive input from your lover wife partner so if you are a woman and um, you create energetic and emotional safety in your relationship um, you will see that it's going to be way easier for your man to be receptive to whatever message you have for him. Creating emotional safety means 
um, that um, you know you limit the amount of attacks or aggressive energies that you are pushing in his direction it's a very simple thing and uh, if you have something challenging to share if you feel charged or if you're angry or something like that create a safe space where it's possible to voice that together I'm going to do uh, another video on that one another time because it's uh, an important piece of of creating a good beautiful bonded and uh, synergic experience for your couple another one <laughs> Very important, validation, okay? Um, if you're a woman, you know how important it is when, when you receive validation from either your friends or from your lover, partner, from your man. He comes to you and says, you know, here are the things that I really appreciate about what you do. So if you want to educate somebody, very often pointing out to the things that they are doing right will work way, way better than pointing out to the things that they are doing wrong. <laughs> it's very simple, right? You know, if somebody's criticizing or attacking you all the time, says, yeah, yesterday you did that and it doesn't work and pick up your socks and no, no, no. It's, and it's like this aggressive energy that comes into your field that doesn't give you space. Instead of doing that, what you can do is this. You go like, you know what? Yesterday when you did that, that works really well for me. It's so appreciated. I really enjoyed receiving this message from you yesterday. I really enjoyed you taking care of booking the flight for our holidays. I enjoyed you going and picking up this, the kids from school spontaneously without you know, me knowing about it and you organizing something for us. I really enjoyed the way you touch my body. I enjoyed the way you make love to me. See, this validation is something that we are all craving for. We want to be validated. So instead of pointing out to the things that are wrong, start pointing out to the things that are right. And a simple way to do that is take a white page and write five things that you love about your man and start telling him these things. And you go like, you know, some people will be like, well, he knows this thing. I don't have to tell him. It's not true. It's not true. You have to reinforce the love instead of reinforcing the places of trigger and tension. It's simple. Validate your man and he will open his heart to you way more. The last one, a little bit in the same direction as win-win, is team up, okay? Your couple and what you're creating together is a team. Um, it's a co-creation process where authority and power are being shared. If you don't want to share authority or if you don't want to share power within the context of your relationship don't create a couple <laughs> it's going to be some form of a different um, you know relationship system but it's not going to be coupling the coupling experience that that is the ideal connection or relationship between two people will be based on teaming up it's like we are a team a team means that when you are in a challenging zone and you have to really stick together and be strong together, you prioritize that instead of forcing your own agenda on that person. It's like teaming up means that you, you prioritize the couple dynamics or you prioritize the couple's needs rather than your own individual need. You know, take an example of playing in, uh, in a field, you know, for instance, basketball, right? Or another uh, team sport. It's like, this is why you team up. You create the win by joining forces, not by competing with each other, not by being, you know, elbowing each other from the same team. No, you have to team up, okay? When it comes to coupling, that's a very core idea as well, to create massive, beautiful success. I created a program online which is called how to coach your man or coach your man, which is a powerful, you know, set of tactics as well to, uh, you know, to influence your man. But basically what I'm saying here is in essence, a lot of the points that I'm covering in this program. So I hope you enjoy. If you want coaching with me, you know, if you are a woman and you are being challenged by your man not doing what you want, <laughs> you know, get in touch. Uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to communicate with that person and um, you know to strengthen your couple strengthen your relationship and also how to you know basically the male female dynamics and communications are a very subtle thing and um, if you want help with that it's very easy to have a, a skype session with me 
go to vitalcoaching.com slash coaching and I'll help you further with that. Sign up for a session and we'll talk live otherwise otherwise post in the comments if you have questions things that you would like to me to follow up with on another video it's uh, yeah it's easy just post and uh, let me know which ones which ones of these tactics you are practicing and which ones you are not yet i summarize it quickly for you again show by example respect be consistent offer space for integration repeat sympathize win-win safety validation and team up any quality or tactic that I didn't mention here that you recognize, just post in the comments again. I'll see you soon. I love you.